Hey guys, welcome back to Gretchen's Animals. Today we're going to be making a fruit salad for my hamsters. This is going to be Belle's bowl. Actually, maybe I'll make this Belle's bowl and this one Bruno's. So yeah, I'm going to show you what is safe for them and what is not safe. First, to start out, these are cut off green beans. You want to make the cut up like really tiny. You can see, but these are really little. And then the carrot slices are really little, but I think this is going to be for Bruno's because Bruno eats a little bit more. So I'm just going to put this in there. One sec. Oh, blueberries are actually safe for them. So I'm going to be cutting up two blueberries for Bruno and one for Belle. Or I might just give him this because he can reach. I actually decided just to um, cut up this size for Bruno. And then I'm going to cut up the other ones even smaller for Belle. the fruit bowls. This is Bruno's and this one's Belle's. It's super healthy. I try not to give um, Belle too much because she's little. Bruno can have as much as he wants so he's a big guy and yeah this is really cool. So yeah. I'm also going to be cleaning both cages today so yeah and I forgot to mention a little update. This is Bruno's cage that he used to be in. And as you can see, all the corners are filled up with grossness. <laughs> and this is the hole that he constantly escaped from. But he also made a new one. So I moved him into Belle's old cage. Now Belle's in this one, but like, he had the old one. And while I'm cleaning the cage, I'm gonna put Bruno in here with his new, like, fruit salad. And then, I don't need to put any water in here, I don't think, because it's gonna be filled up with water fruit. And then also I'm gonna put a couple of treats in here just so he's entertained while I'm cleaning his cage. His little carrier. You know what breaks my heart though is that this cage was advertised as a cage that was mainly for hamsters, like as their main cage. And this is clearly, if you look, Bruno's a, I'm not gonna lie, he's a big hamster, but like, take a look inside. How is a hamster supposed to live in that amount of space? From like here, this side, oops, I just knocked over the water bottle. There's like not enough space for this hamster to live. Not enough for any hamster. Even if it's a dwarf hamster, they should have more room because they're the most active. This is not big enough for a hamster to live in. So please do not buy these cages for your hamsters because they're not good. He's just stuffing all of it in his mouth. He's not even gonna eat it. Huh, Bruno? So I just finished, well, I mean, I finished a while ago, but also in my break, well, I sort of, I went and I got new water bottles for the hamsters. Well, my, I helped my dad like do stuff. So I got that one and then I also got this too, exact thing. And it's the six ounce and it's really nice. It, it actually, for the wire cages, it comes with, um, where are the other parts? Where'd they go? Oh yeah, right here. So it like hooks onto the cage and then it goes perfectly actually. It's a really nice water bottle. And they were only like $6 because um, I used um, the, if you show the, match the price, then it gives you it for cheaper. So I have this now and I keep in like the other part. But I mean, for Bell's cage, I don't know if like the hanger thingy. Oh, I actually have the same one. I didn't know that. I thought I had, oh wait, I was thinking of this. I was thinking of this and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but actually I do have one that wouldn't work. Okay, well that actually helps a lot. I may actually be able to use that for that. But yeah, it works perfectly. I also got some some because I love them. Hey, he's going back to bed now. But I did get some toilet paper for his cage, just like for nesting material. But yeah, it's the update. to her carrier area while she's waiting for her home to be cleaned. As you can see, she's tiny. She's very little. She's very cute though, so. She's, she's way smarter than Bruno. She realizes this is not my home. 
Bruner just went right into eating, but she's like, how do I get out of here? She's not even looking at the food. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, she's like, oh, it's this, but no. <laughs> Bruno's over here stuffing toilet paper into his mouth. You guys can see he's stuffing it in there. It's not food, buddy, but he likes moving it over and making his own big nest. Ceremony is what he's doing right now. Yep. He doesn't even use his wheel anymore. He's getting older. He's gonna be me two. Not to do the math again. So in case people are wondering why I barely ever clean this hamster's cage, is because her bedding, this is after like two months without cleaning it. It's you don't really need she's little so and she has a huge cage, so it's even bigger than Bruno. That was on purpose. Is because she's so little, she makes barely a mess. She, of course, there's like poop in the bedding. Like here, for example, if you can see like her little poops, but it doesn't smell bad. Her cage could last three months, and it wouldn't smell Bruno, bad as Bruno's cage after a week without cleaning his cage. She isn't messy. Whole, like she makes tunnels and everything, so I feel bad destroying it. But I mean, I do have to clean it every once in a while. But it's she makes like little food areas, but it really isn't dirty. It's just messy. It's yeah, cause she buries all her food at the bottom of the cage, cause she makes tunnels everywhere and everything. But I mean, she's really not bad. Like this cage, I could have left all this bedding here and it would be fine. But I'm not going to just cause she does need to get a change. I think. I mean, there's poops in there. Definitely, I'm not denying that, but it doesn't smell bad. Like, her cage doesn't smell bad at all, or anything. So, like, she's the easiest hamster ever. Bruno's cage, on the other hand, takes like 10 billion tries trying to make it smell good, but hers is just fine. Still gonna change out the bedding, just cause it does need to be changed though, like, cause I like, that's just like, I made the judgment not to have to clean it for like two months and then clean it every like two months. That's just like what I've done as a hamster owner. People can like go even longer. Just, it's like, it would never do that with Bruno cause he would stink up and it wouldn't, wouldn't be healthy with all that. But she doesn't smell bad. Doesn't, yeah, it's not, doesn't smell bad. It's perfectly clean. Well, not perfectly clean. Like there's obviously poops, but I mean, look at it. It's not that bad. This is just a leaf by the way, if you're wondering. It's from like the trail mix. I have like a trail mix thing that you can get at Walmart. And it smells, it makes the cages smell amazing. I put some in his too, but yeah. Gonna clean this real quick and then I'll show you I one just thing. just ma finished making the coolest cage ever for Belle. She's got all this stuff. I just finished making that. That took forever. If you guys don't know, those things are impossible to build. It's like you have to build it like piece by piece by piece by piece. And the stuff just like collapses. But I got it and then... She never has chewed this, but it's adorable, so I keep putting it in. And she's got a whimsy too. And yeah, I even put in a little layer because I was like feeling like spoiling them today. And then the water bottles are amazing. But yeah, I'm going to be cleaning it. all this mess up that I made. I even dumped food all over the ground. So yeah, I have to clean up all this and then yeah, my video. Have a nice one. Bye!